What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another install video. It's another actually nice sunny day here in Victoria, which is a bit strange for this time of year. Today, I've got something that has been on my list for a long time, um, and I should have done it a lot earlier. But essentially, this is pretty much the best way to keep a 1HZ, a turbo 1HZ cool. I've talked to a few experts about this all. Basically, you just don't overcomplicate it. So, this is a kit that you can buy from CMS 4x4 or Complete Maintenance Services. If you own a troop carrier, you know who Simon Dangerfield is. He's always helping out the troopy community. I really recommend you check out CMS 4x4. Um, they actually have an online store as well and they are a mechanic, so if you want to get work done in your car and you're in his area, very good mechanic to go to. Unfortunately, he's on the other side of the city to me. This is a kit that Simon has put together. Um, you can't buy it anywhere else. And essentially what it does is it gives you the radiator out of a 1HD. So the radiators in the 1HZs one, one are tiny. This still is a small radiator, but it's a bit longer. I don't know the specifics, but I just know it's better and it is bigger. Um, basically, you've got a bigger fan, bigger fan shroud, obviously, to make it to suit. Um, I'm not sure if this actually comes in the kit, but we've got a new fan clutch, which can actually be a very common issue for if your car is overheating, is that your fan clutch is actually on. Um, and I've got a new tray as well to suit the larger radiator. Um, and I also have a low coolant alarm to put in as well. Now some of you may be thinking, I thought that the best way to keep it cool would be a nice big aluminium block radiator that's supposed to cool it the best. Um, that's what you know all the intercoolers are and, and whatnot. Well the thing is, they, they do work well, but they're about this thick, right, of al aluminium. And as soon as it gets hot, that's, that thing stays hot. Your car can't cool that. Um, this is what Simon has said, he said he's tried everything um, and this by far has fixed every single issue he's had. Um, not only on his car, but then on multiple other cars as well. So I'm going to link this kit below so you can go and check it out. I've always had kind of cooling issues with this car when out four-wheel driving, um, pretty much because my radiator gets filled up with mud. <laughs> so it is kind of my fault. Obviously the other thing is to get a bigger intercooler with thermo fans and whatnot, so that's probably gonna be my next step. But this radiator that's in it at the moment is a little bit stuffed anyway, so it's a very good time to be swapping all of this out and put something a lot better in. So obviously the first thing you wanna do is drop the coolant, which mine actually has a little tap down the bottom, so that's nice. And what I'm also doing as, if the camera would adjust, that down there, that was my endless air setup. So you can see it's a belt driven compressor. It's seized on Alice track, it doesn't work anymore. Um, I was planning on taking it off anyway because the mounts always come loose no matter what I did. So I do need to take that off. Put new belts on, so I got all new belts that I bought from Simon as well. Just ordered online. Honestly, it's a great resource to have. So always keep complete maintenance services in mind. I've pulled this radiator out multiple times. I mean, like I put it out in the middle of the high country because it was overheating. <laughs> yes, it's the same radiator. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not gonna be in good shape. To get to it all, obviously you just wanna quickly just take these bolts off. There's only four of them, it's just a little guard, um, which we have the new one sitting up here, ready to go. I normally do a lot better better than that using that technique. I was just trying to not get in the way of the camera. Oh well. It's nasty. Alright, so amongst everything I've got going on here, I pulled out the new radiator, put it next to the old one. Obviously the old one's pretty screwed. Um, not the worst shape it's been in, but it's not good. And this is the new one. As you can see, if I go straight over the top, you can see it's taller. And it's also nice and shiny. We like shiny stuff. What's good about this radiator as well is that it has this plug here, so I can put in my low coolant alarm. So that makes things easy because the stock one does not have that. So yeah, now it is on to taking the fan and the fan clutch off, which I haven't done before, but I can't imagine it's too difficult. My fan clutch, it, 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 it's working fine at the moment, but since I'm doing it all, I may as well just throw a new one on, so then there's just no dramas with it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, it also, the radiator also came with 
um, radiator hoses to suit because obviously it's it's a little bit different to the stock one so it's going to run a little bit different yeah it's just it's just all around a better better kit um, oh yeah the fan shrouds i was gonna put these side by side um so this my stock fan shroud it's actually very broken it's got like, heaps of snapped mounting points and it's broken like it's it's had a hard time let's put these next to each other they're the same they look like the same size don't they are they the same size like the the hole I think I think that the fan bit's the same size, it's just this is different to suit that. Alright, so it has been a few hours since since I last talked to you. Basically I went to take the fan clutch off and rounded a bolt. Yeah, I had to mess around a fair bit, but eventually got there. Um, it's just those four there. Three of them I got off fairly easy and then the other one just it did not want to come off. As you can see I've got a nice table going on with the intercooler. <laughs> no, not the best. Anyway. Um, I've pulled the airbox out. Um, I've taken out the the air compressor. That's that's what it looks like. It it sucked to get out, um, but that's all gone. So that used to be located underneath the alternator. I'm just about to try and get the thermostat off because the the fan clutch came came with a new thermostat. All right, as you can probably tell from my face, <laughs> we're slowly getting there. Thermostat is on. Um, put the new fan clutch on and I've also whilst I was just here and doing everything um, I've replaced all three belts. This is all together. Um, it's only like four little nuts to put the fan on um, So I'll do that next It's just down here now. I can't really show it on camera, but this fan is like ever so slightly bigger So the next step is to put the fan on but I'm gonna have to just start it and just drive it out there because if you check out the back of this condenser, it is not in good nick. Um, it's the bottom section basically is solid mud. So I'm just going to kind of clean everything up. I'm just going to start it up, move it forwards just, just to here and turn it off. Um, and then I'm going to sit a sprinkler on it so it can soak it, um, try and get some of that mud out. With everything that's happened today, I'm not going to get it done today, but I think it's very, I think it's an important thing to do that with the condition that that, that, that condenser is in. Yeah, a little bit annoying. I was booked in at Treadworks to get an alignment tomorrow, but that's not going to happen. This really isn't that difficult to do. It's just I've had issues. It's like if this all went smoothly, it would be done at the moment. So, but it hasn't. That's just the way it is. Giving the car a bit of a water. The camera doesn't really show it, but that's just muddy water coming out of that. So I'll move it around and hold it on there for a little while to soak it. And it should be all good to go. So, as you can see, I probably did it for about five minutes. It's looking a million times better. Alright, put it back in. Alright, it is time to finally put the radiator in the car. The kit actually comes with all new radiator bushings as well, which I didn't know. So that's nice because mine was stuffed. Probably been in there since the car left the factory. Also, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it has foam all the way around this radiator as well to seal it. Um, just everything about this radiator is a piece of art. So, I'm very excited to have this in my car. Because um, it is a work of art, this thing. Gah. Right, I do have one complaint about this. The freaking sticker doesn't come off very easily. Right, so it is a new day. Um, got a bit done last night, but didn't finish it off. I just got a few little things to do. The radiator and van and shroud and everything is all bolted in. Um, if you look down here, thermostat in with all the hoses. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned or not, but I had to modify literally the thermostat housing that bit to make it work with the endless air because the pipes had to run a different way so there's lots of joins in this is it ideal no will it work yes because this is a bigger radiator as you can see it hangs down a little bit lower than the other one which that's just inevitable so this is the original guard that would go up under there to stop stones and that from hitting it and this is the new one now it is only plastic so it's not a bash guard but i think I'm gonna be trying pretty hard to smack a rock on that. All right, we're all back together. Everything's looking good. Just gotta put some coolant in. And then we'll turn it on and let the coolant flow through. I filled it all up with coolant. I ran it for ages. I couldn't get the thing to temp. So I had to take it for a drive. When it was just idling, like bottled up and everything, it was sitting at like 76 degrees, which is 
the thermostat's not even open at that, so it's a bit weird. So I had to take it for a drive and, and get it up um, so I can get make sure everything was working properly. Um, it's all working fine, no leaks, nothing doesn't get up, which is good. <laughs> I suppose like the real test is gonna be when summer comes around. Um, you hit up like the high country and stuff like that. Keen to see how it goes. As I said, physically feels like it's, it's that fan pushes more air. Yeah? Um, but that could just be placebo. But yeah, I suppose we will see how it goes. Can't really give my opinion on it as of yet, but as far as the kit goes, it's a very good kit. It has everything you need. So yeah, I had a few issues in that one, which were my fault, uh, rounding some nuts and, and whatnot. Not really ideal, but we got there in the end. I'm glad that that is all, all done now. It's all freshened up. Don't ignore your cooling systems, people. All right, well, I guess that brings us to the end of this. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Catch you guys there. Cup of coffee on the car floor, what's more, Triple J, ignorant.